Good morning children. Hope you are safe at home. Today we will read a story about the noble monkey. So this story is about a monkey who was a very noble animal. Noble means very kind and someone who would do anything to help other people. Now let's see why this monkey is called the noble monkey. Let's read this story together children and understand it. In a forest glade on the banks of the river Ganga, there was a tall shady mango tree. Every year it bore big juicy mangoes that were very sweet to taste. So in a thick deep forest where there were many many trees on the banks of the river Ganga there was a very tall mango tree with a lot of branches all over. So it used to give a lot of shade around and every year during summer this mango tree would give a lot of mango fruit on it. And these mangoes were very big, juicy and sweet to eat. In the forest there lived hundreds of monkeys with their king. The monkey king was bigger, stronger and also wiser than all the other monkeys. So in that same forest where the mango tree was, there lived many many monkeys and the king of the monkeys was a very noble king. He was also bigger than the other monkeys, much much stronger than them and also a very smart monkey and that's why he was their king. The monkeys loved the mango tree for its spreading branches, cool shade and delicious fruit. They often played about on the tree and enjoyed eating the tasty mangoes. So these monkeys who used to stay in the jungle, they loved that mango tree because it had so many branches where they could swing on those branches. And it used to give so much of shade where they could sleep. And lastly, it used to give them such delicious and tasty mangoes to eat. They often used to play on this mango tree and they loved and enjoyed the mangoes from it. Their king warned them, Don't let even a single mango fall into the river. If the current carries it down to the land of men, they will come here in search of the heavenly fruit and destroy the peace in this land. So because this mango tree was deep in the jungle, only the monkeys knew about it and only the monkeys could eat this yummy mango fruit. So the king used to always warn and tell the monkeys that never ever throw any mango into the river. If the mango falls in the river, the river water will take it down where human beings live. And if human beings taste this mango and come to know it's so delicious and tasty, they will come here in search of this tree and then they will destroy everything around us. We will no longer be able to stay in peace in this jungle. So be careful about this. One day, however, a ripe mango fell into the river and was carried with the flow to the city of Banaras. It was found by a fisherman who had never seen anything like it before. So unfortunately, what the king had warned, that only happened. One day, 
a ripe mango fell down into the river and the river flowed and took this mango away to the city of Banaras. There, when it reached the banks of the river, a fisherman found this mango and he had never seen anything like this fruit before. So, he presented it to the king. When the king tasted a slice of the fruit, he liked it very much. He shared it with his queen and ministers. They all loved its flavour and in the end, it was decided that a search party should be sent to find the tree that bore such divine fruit. So what this fisherman did, because he found something so new and unique, he thought, let me show this to the king. The king will get very happy. So he gave this mango fruit to the king of Banaras. When the king tasted a slice of this mango fruit, he enjoyed and loved it. He also gave it to his queen and his ministers who were in the palace. All of them enjoyed the taste of this mango fruit and they all decided that we have to find out from where this fruit has come because it's so yummy and tasty that we need to get some more. So they all decided to organize a search in search of this mango tree. A fleet of rafts sailed up the river carrying many of the courtiers and the king himself. So when they decided about the search party, they immediately left with many boats. Along with them, even the king went in search of the fruit. By and by, the fleet of rafts reached the forest glade on the bank of the river and also found the mango tree laden with fruit. The king and the courtiers were overjoyed. So, when they reached, they found this forest and in this forest, they found this mango tree and they seen that the mango tree was filled with mangoes. So, the king and the courtiers who were along with him were very, very happy to find so much of this mango fruit. When the king's men noticed the monkeys enjoying the fruit, they were annoyed. They decided to drive them away mercilessly. But when the king's men saw that the monkeys were enjoying eating the mango fruit, they got very angry. They decided to drive away or shoo away these monkeys without having any pity on them. So how did they do that? They sent volleys of arrows to kill the monkeys and to scare them away for good. Volley of arrows means many many arrows in all directions. So the king's men shot many arrows and tried to shoo away these monkeys for good forever. The monkey king swung to the other side of the river and ordered to others to do the same. The monkey king ran fast and he jumped to the other side of the river and he told the other monkeys also, if you all want to save yourselves, jump across the river to the other side. Move quickly, save your lives by vanishing deep into the forest on the other bank, he urged. So what did he say? Come on you monkeys, run faster, move quickly. If you want to save your life, you have to jump into the forest 
on the other side of the river and vanish or hide into this deep forest. However, he soon realized that the river stream was too wide for the others to follow. The king monkey was bigger and stronger, so he could easily jump over and reach the other side of the river. But he realized that the other monkeys would not be able to do so because the river was too wide for them to do such a big jump. Quick as lightning. Quick as lightning means as fast as he could. He did something very unusual. Something nobody could think of. Catching hold of a tall cane with his legs. So he held a very tall bamboo cane with his legs. He swung back to the side where the other monkeys waited. So using this cane, long cane, he swung like a monkey and reached the other side where all the monkeys were trapped. Then he took firm hold of a branch of a tree. When he reached the other side, as you can see in this picture, this is the cane and this is the king monkey. So when he reached the other side, he got hold of a branch of a tree and in this way he made a bridge across the river with his own strong body. So this noble king sacrificed his life to save all the other monkeys who were trapped on the other side. The monkey king then ordered the monkeys to rush to the other side over his own body. So he did not think twice about himself. He quickly told all of them, walk over me and cross to the other side. The monkeys lost no time in following his command. Because he was their king, they obeyed him and crossed over. The monkey king's body was being trampled upon means walked upon and bruised and injured by the rushing hordes of monkeys. But he did not waver. So this poor monkey king, everybody was running over him, but he did not give up or leave the branch. He caught hold of it tightly till all the monkeys could cross over. In this, he got badly bruised and hurt all, all over his body. He kept a tight hold over the cane and the branch till the last monkey landed safely on the other side. By then he was badly injured and had lost all his strength. He fell down in a swoon. So poor little king monkey he held on tight to the branch till the last monkey crossed over to the other side of the river. By then, he was very badly hurt and had lost all his strength. He had become weak and tired and he fainted and fell down in the river. The king of Banaras was watching this with amazement. Amazement means in surprise or in shock. So when all this was happening, the king of Banaras watched how the monkey king helped all the other monkeys to escape using his own body. He was touched by the bravery and sacrifice of the great monkey king. He asked his men to stop shooting arrows. He was very touched and felt very sad that the poor king monkey was hurt. But he was very proud of how brave he was and how the king monkey sacrificed his own life 
for the sake of the other monkeys. He was very impressed with him. The unconscious monkey. Unconscious means he didn't know what was happening. Like when you faint and fall down. The unconscious monkey king was gently lifted from the bank of the river and placed on a couch near the king of Banaras. So the king told his men to stop shooting and asked them to find the monkey king who was lying near the banks of the river. Then they carried him and placed him on a couch near the king of Banaras. The king tried his best to revive the great ape. Revive means to bring him awake or bring him back to life. So the king tried everything to wake him up. After a while, the monkey king slowly opened his eyes. So after some time, the monkey king gained consciousness and he woke up. Why did you sacrifice your life in this way? said the king of Banaras. When the monkey king woke up, the king of Banaras asked him why he had done such a great sacrifice for the sake of the monkeys. The monkeys are like my children. I am their chief and guide and it is my duty to protect them. They are now safe and I die a happy death. I am glad I could do my duty. So saying, the great ape closed his eyes forever. So what answer did the monkey king give to the king of Banaras? He told him that all these monkeys are like my own children. I am their king. And I am the one to guide them and help them always. So it is my duty to protect them forever. Now all of them are safe and sound. And so I am happy. And now I can die in peace. I am happy that I have done my duty of taking care of all those monkeys. And by saying this, the king monkey died. The king of Banaras never forgot the great sacrifice that he had witnessed. So the king of Banaras always remembered the great noble monkey king and the great sacrifice that he had done for the sake of his troop. Now let's read the meanings of some of the words from this lesson. Glade, an open space or clearing in a forest. Delicious means tasty. Also having a pleasant taste or smell. Heavenly means wonderful. Divine. Here it means excellent. Laden with fruit means with great quantities of fruit on it. Mercilessly means without any mercy or pity. Volleys of arrows means many arrows sent or shot at the same time. Vanishing means disappearing or going away. Swoon means to faint. And revive means to bring back to life. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson of the noble monkey and the great sacrifice that this monkey king had done to save all the other monkeys who were like his children. That is all for today children. Thank you and have a nice day.